Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Dev, aka The Unknown Variable here, back at you with another commentary. And it's been a while, guys. I'd like to apologize for taking about a week off of making long form content. I know you all missed me, but I needed to take a little bit of time to soak in what is the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 beta that released on PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 this past weekend. I myself got early access to this beta through a code that I purchased on eBay. So before all the bootlickers come here and they're like, you pre-ordered the game to play it. How did you get game? play. It's called going on eBay and spending $5 approximately to get a beta code to access the beta for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. You thought you had a gotcha moment, but no, bootlickers, I did not purchase a copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. But with that out of the way, I would just like to say that today I'm going to be sharing my Modern Warfare 3 beta slash first impressions review, I guess you could say. And this is going to be covering the good things I like about the game, the bad things I absolutely despise about the game. And then the third and final point of this video is going to be a concerning tab, which is stuff that I'm concerned about but could be fairly easily rectified by the developers over at Sledgehammer Games. So without further ado, let's get straight into my first impressions video for the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Early Access Beta. Alright, so we're gonna start off with the good, but before I get into that, I would just like to say if you guys are noticing a slight bit of a quality difference, it's simply because I'm recording this off the PS5 and not my PC. So unfortunately, I'm limited to 1920 by 1080. The quality will be going up in future betas when it does come to PC. And also, if you're noticing that I'm whiffing a few shots in the gameplay here, it's simply because I'm trying to use mouse and keyboard on a PlayStation 5. Anybody who's a PC player that goes from PC to PlayStation 5 and tries to use mouse and keyboard will completely understand my pain. But either way, I digress. Let's get straight into the good portion of the video. So the good stuff I like about Modern Warfare 3. Well, so far I have maps. Now, I know a lot of us were kind of expecting the maps to be good because these are just straight port overs from Modern Warfare 2 2009. And nobody really had any major concerns regarding the maps. The only concern that I myself had had originally and even a month ago was the fact that there was rumors that there's going to be doors on the map and stuff like that. Well, I can't confirm through my time playing the game. There is not doors in every single doorway on the map. They're kind of randomly spread out and placed in kind of like weird locations. It doesn't really affect the gameplay at all. It doesn't really affect the flow of the map whatsoever. So me, myself, I'll be the bigger man. I have no issue saying that I was wrong in my prediction of saying that they're going to add doors to every single map in Modern Warfare 3. Now, this is yet to be seen because because we've only seen three multiplayer maps. We got to see Estate, Favela, and Invasion for 6v6. So when it goes to those three maps, when it comes to those three maps, I guess I should say, it doesn't really have an effect on it and the doors don't really seem to be doing much of anything. So the maps are really good. Like I said, I'd prefer to see a little bit of originality, but the simple fact that they're doing this just makes the game already more enjoyable. I know the maps right from the get-go. It's old school Call of Duty maps. A lot of these maps play really well, minus Estate. I never really liked Estate in Modern Warfare 2 2009 and I don't like it today. But anyways, the maps are fairly solid. Another thing we could put in the pro column is the perk system. Gone are the days of the stupid charging perks like we have in Modern Warfare 2. Now they just gave us, you know, boot, gloves, vest options, you know, stuff like that. So let's make sure your perk 1, 2, and 3. You have perk slots for each one of those. So your glove slot, you would have different types of gloves, you know, sleight of hand, etc. Boot slot, you'd have stalker boots. You have boots that eliminate footsteps, etc. You know, you're kind of getting the gist of how this is working and you get your perks straight from the beginning of the match. So like I said, this perk system I have no issue with. I still have a major fear of the fact that they're going to monetize the absolute hell out of this perk system, but that's just purely speculation and I have no proof really to like say that that's going to happen 100%, but my fear is still there regarding the perk system. The gunplay in this game is absolutely phenomenal. I love the gunplay in this game. Now, I don't think the gunplay in this game is perfect by any means. I don't think this is like Modern Warfare 3 OG level gunplay amazing, but it's a hell of a lot better than Modern Warfare 2 and after a year of terrible visual recall that bounces all over the place for no specific rhyme or reason. It's a nice change to see guns that actually sort of shoot straight. And there's going to be people here that are complaining about how it's not realistic and guns actually move in real life. And it's like, okay, yeah, I get that, but we're playing COD here. It's a arcade shooter. And really the gunplay in this game is more akin to an old school Call of Duty game. The movement is also 20 times better in this game. It's kind of a mixture between Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 2019, if that makes any sense. It's not quite as quick as Modern Warfare 2019 in my experience. I didn't feel like I could jump around and move around as fast as possible. 
possible. They have a slide cancel, but the slide cancel has a weird ass delay on it. So it's kind of like you could slide cancel the slide and you can kind of get your gun up, but it's like you feel like you're stuck in mud for just a split second. So if they could remove something like a delay like that, that would just make the movement that much better. But I know there's people that don't like, you know, slide canceling and like super cracked movement. So maybe this is a negative to some people, but to me, it's a positive. And also the animations when it comes to running, you know, stuff like that, it all looks very like watered down compared to Infinity Ward's animations. And this is saying something because I don't like Infinity Ward. I think they're a terrible, terrible Call of Duty developer, but if they could do anything right, it's their animations. But anyways, like the running animation, the reload animations, everything just kind of looks a little bit janky. Now this could be because it's a beta build. Now they claim it's a beta build, but we're a month out from the game. So I'm pretty sure this is pretty much what we're going to be getting on release. But either way, I don't know. Animations don't look very good. I'm just hoping that this is a beta issue. So those are all the things so far that I could think of that are good about the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 beta. Now we have the bad tab. And this is where it gets a little bit annoying and things that, you know, I guess I could say consistently aggravated me as I played this game more and more. The spawns, like most Call of Duty games in the modern era, are absolutely atrocious. Now, I don't have a clip here to show you guys, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I wasn't recording at this time, but I was playing a match yesterday on Favela, and I spawned four times in a row to be shot instantly within a second of spawning every single time. Now, mind you, this has only happened to me a handful of times in my 20, 30 games I have on the beta, but it happening once is already bad enough, and I've seen it happen a few more times. I've had, I think I've had it happen, you know, two or three times to me. So seeing these things happen really does not make me excited for the spawn system in this game. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something with their algorithm. Maybe their spawn system is better in the full release, but as it stands right now, the spawn system is absolutely atrocious in the Modern Warfare 3 beta. We also have another overcomplicated gunsmith system because, you know, we needed that again. And this thing that they had in Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2, the gunsmith, Modern Warfare 2019, maybe not as much, but Modern Warfare 2 is gunsmith where you had to level up this gun to level up this gun. You had to use a knife to unlock a sight on an AR, you know, like you had to use a knife to unlock a magazine on an AR. Like it's stupid. And for the people that didn't like that system where you have to level up other weapons to get attachments for certain weapons that you're using. Well, I hate to break it to you guys, but it appears as though that system is back. In the beta, it appears that most of the attachments are unlocked through using various different weapons. So here comes another year of having to use other trash weapons in order to level up the one we actually want to level up. So it seems like we have another overcomplicated gunsmith system in this iteration of Call of Duty. And me personally, I would just like to see a pick 10 system, but maybe I'm in the minority. Let me know how you guys feel about it down in the comment section below. Another thing I think is very bad about this game, and a lot of people are going to be like, well, you were praising this, saying it was a good thing even a few weeks ago, is the time to kill. And this isn't the fact that it's 150 HP. I have no problem with that. I have no issue having to hit more bullets to kill someone because I think that rewards a higher skilled player. But where the issue, you know, kind of comes into play with me is the fact that the TTK is way too damn inconsistent in this game. You will sit there and you'll shoot someone three times and they'll drop. And then other times you'll see a guy and you'll put about nine bullets into him and he'll kill you in four with a striker across the map. Now the striker is an SMG and I'm using something like the MCW or another AR in the game and I'm shooting you far range. I hit you what? Seven, eight times and you hit me four with an SMG. Doesn't really make any sense. Maybe this is also another thing that they could fix. You know, I don't know, but I don't think it's something that's easily fixable. The TTK. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with net code. But all I know is that I have a huge issue with that. Another thing I don't like about it is the skill based matchmaking is cranked up to 11. When I tell you I had to sweat every single game I've played on this beta so far, I'm not lying. It's like I'm in a Call of Duty League championship. And the fact that I have a mousy keyboard with shitty input delay really doesn't make the experience any better. And I've been losing my mind all weekend. Another negative, obviously, is the price. The fact that it's a $70 game and it looks almost identical to Modern Warfare 2. When I say, guys, this is the game that we wanted for Modern Warfare 2, they made all of the changes that we wanted from Modern Warfare 2 and put them in Modern Warfare 3. It is exactly that. You're paying $70 to get a patched, fixed version of Modern Warfare 2. So me, personally, I don't think it's worth $70. If I have to put a price tag on this, I would probably say this is probably worth more, like $30, $40. But that's just me. We know Activision's never going to do that. So that sums up all the bad things about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3's beta. Now we're going to be moving on to the concerning tab. These are things that worry me, but could be fixed fairly easily. So to start it off, I have Battle Rage on here. Now, this is something that's concerning because it's extremely OP. It used to be a field upgrade in Modern Warfare 2, I believe. And it was basically something you just huffed in and it ended up making you run faster. You had unlimited attack sprint and faster health regeneration. Well, this is back, but it's in the tactical slot. Prestigious Key actually covered this yesterday. And I completely agree with what he's saying. We should just take the Battle Rage 
rage and take it out of the tactical slot and put it back into the field upgrade slot where it belongs in my opinion and replace that with a stim fairly easily to fix and i think the majority of the community would agree with this fix also another thing that's concerning is the visibility when i say in this game the visibility is the worst i've ever seen in the call of duty franchise i'm not lying to you the visibility in this game is absolutely atrocious it's like they put a grainy filter over everything and it makes the game look like absolute crap i'm really hoping they fix this in the beta because if they actually made the visibility better this has the possibility to be one of the better call of duty games that we've gotten in recent years now before i close out this video i would just like to say this whole modern warfare 3 debacle is giving me hella vibes from vanguard and if you remember modern warfare 2019 came out it had all these changes like red dots in the minimap gone they didn't even want to launch with the minimap and no dead silence everybody complained and then the following game was vanguard which was basically modern warfare 2019 with a world war ii skin and all of the things changed over that people didn't like about modern warfare 2019 well it appears that modern warfare 3 is following the same path as vanguard because they're just fixing all of the things that everybody hated about modern warfare 2 and putting them in modern warfare 3 and charging us 70 dollars but this time they're going even less effort i guess you could say because they're not even changing the time period they're just literally putting it in the exact same time period the game looks almost identical to modern warfare 2 they're changing a few things around adding the og maps and calling it something new and i wouldn't be surprised if this community hated this game three months after it was released but that's just my opinion let me know how you guys feel in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video make sure to like the video if you didn't enjoy the video make sure to dislike the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you never miss when i upload a video and i catch everybody in the next one